Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Pryor, and this is Lab 1, Use of the Microscope. Read the PDF, know all of the vocabulary, know the parts of the microscope, know all of the instructions that are provided in the PDFs. But I'm going to show you hands-on what it's like to use the microscope and to look at bacteria through the microscope. First things first, we have to plug the microscope in. All right, now come and look at it from my perspective. Okay, welcome to the microscope. So the first thing we want to do is get light shining through the stage. So the light switch is here, and you see that it gets brighter and dimmer. So that's one way to control the light. So you want it on full light. The other way to control the light coming through here is this little lever controlled device called the iris diaphragm. So you see how that slides left and right? And that also changes the amount of light. Okay, so we're going to look at bacteria called Bacillus anthracis. And this is in lung tissue. This is the bacteria that causes anthrax, a respiratory disease. And here's the specimen. It's a little lung slice. And the bacteria are among the lung cells. So we need to put it on the stage, open up this little clip, put it in there. But you see the light's not shining through the specimen. So we have to move it over with these knobs. Okay, these knobs make it go up and down and left and right. So we bring it over here. Okay, so it's centered over the light. Now we get to pick one of these objective lenses. And we always start with the smallest, which is four times what the naked eye can see. So we have to turn the turret and put that lens over the light. And we've got ocular lenses, which we're going to look through. But we need to get this close to the slide. And to do that, we use the coarse focus knob. So by turning this, it's going to bring the slide up, get it real close. And then the other focus we're going to do is the fine focus while we're looking through. Here's Bacillus anthracis at low power. We're not able to see much detail yet. So let's go to the next magnification, the 10x objective lens. Okay, now that we got it in focus at the low power, we then go to the next lens, which is this yellow striped lens is 10. So that's 10 times the magnification of the naked eye. We get it in focus. Here we are at the 10x objective lens magnification. We're starting to see some cells, but those are not bacteria. Those are lung cells. Now that we've got it in focus at 10, we go up to the next lens, which is 40. Okay, so we're going to get that in focus. At 40x objective lens, and I'll try to focus. And you're starting to see the bacterial cells as little red hair-like lines. Let me go to the highest power. And finally, we want to use the big lens, what's called oil immersion. That's 100x, 100 times what the naked eye can see. We have to use immersion oil. And I'll explain why in just a moment. But take a little drop of this, put it on the slide, right on the slide, rotate the lens into the oil, and focus. Okay, I'm getting it in focus at the highest power, and there they are. So the rod-shaped or string-like red structures, those are the bacteria. Those are bacilli-shaped bacteria, and the round red dots are the nuclei of the lung cells, which are stained bluish. So you've got the red, dark red, round nuclei, and the blue cells of the lungs, and then those red strings are the bacillus. Now let's look at the other two species. Here's Streptococcus pneumoniae. Notice the dots in a chain right there in the center, almost like beads on a necklace. You see there's a bunch of other debris on here. We just ignore that. But there are some in the chains. There are some. Okay, so streptococcus, beads of cocci in a row. Here is the last one, the spiral-shaped treponema pallidum, the cause of syphilis, sexually transmitted disease. Now, when it comes to total magnification, here's how we set that up. We've got the objective lenses, and those are 4, 10, 40, 
and 100 times the naked eye. But we also have the ocular lenses that we look through, and those multiply 10 more times. So the ocular lens is another 10 times. So we multiply those for a total magnification. Total magnification would be 4 times 10 is 40. 10 times 10 is 100. 40 times 10, that's right, 400. And finally, 100 times 10 is 1,000. This magnification is what's needed to see bacteria. And that lens is called the oil immersion lens. Let me show you how the oil immersion lens works. The lens is made out of glass. The slide is made out of glass. Now, without oil, the light is going to pass through the glass slide, and when it re-enters the air, it could refract. Now, some of them might get into the lens, but you're going to have a blurry image because of all the light waves that are being refracted. Now, let's see what happens when we have oil. Okay, let's put a drop of oil and the oil touches the lens and the slide. And it's got the same refractive index as the glass. So now all of the light rays are going to be lined up. They're going to stay linear. And you're going to have the image in focus. All right, let's make a wet mount of baker's yeast. So this is the stuff you would bake bread with. Scientific name, Saccharomyces cerevisiae. And we're just gonna pour a little bit into some water, stir it up. Okay, now this is billions and billions of freeze-dried live yeasts, which are a fungus. So we're gonna take a slide. We're gonna put a little bit on the slide. And trust me, that will be many, many yeast cells. Now we're gonna stain it with methylene blue, otherwise they would be invisible. So we're going to put that next to the yeast, and then we're going to use a cover slip. So cover slips are clear plastic little squares. Simply drop it on there. Okay, now it looks like a big mess, doesn't it? So what we're gonna do is use this little absorbent towel to get rid of all of the excess and to move the slide and the cover slip so that they're nice and aligned. Okay. And now we're gonna go ahead and look at it under the microscope. Here's what they look like at low power. Here's a little higher magnification. This is now 10X objective lens. Let's go higher. Here they are at 40X objective lens, 400 total magnification. Let's go ahead and look at these under oil immersion. And here they are, yeast cells at 1,000x magnification. If you look really carefully, you might be able to see some organelles inside those eukaryotic cells.